Kia ora. Today we're going to talk about equipment that's used out in the field to um, take pasture growth samples on farm. Uh, to start with we need a cage to protect the area that we're going to sample. This cage here it's about uh, 0.7 meters squared and it's made of solid galvanized uh, wire mesh. Advantage of this cage is it's got sloping sides so you can transport a number at a time and there'll be a plan for this on the website to show you how to make one of these. In the paddock this cage is going to be the focal of some stock interest and so it really needs to be securely anchored to the ground. Uh, if sheep are going to be in the paddock then we can use these hooks which are made out of reinforcing rod They've got grooves on them, so they really stay in the soil well. So for sheep, we'd probably have one of these in each diagonal corner, knock that into the ground with a club hammer or a sledgehammer to secure it. If you have cattle in the paddock, then that's another story. You need something a little bit more robust. So you could use a flat iron or a half waratah. In that situation you really need to have one of those in each corner and you would secure the cage to those with a, with a cable tie. There is the option to have a cage near an electric wire in which case you could think about putting a hot wire around the area to keep the cattle away. So it's important to place this cage in an area of the paddock that is representative or average. There's a number of things that you need to avoid in the paddock and there's a list of those available at this link. Uh, things like stop camps, gateways, any dips, tracks where our stock are going to walk, you need to avoid all of those sort of places. Uh, so when we go to take a sample from within this cage, we need to take it from a known area. So we use these quadrats. The area of this quadrat is 0.2 meters squared and the dimensions of this quadrat are 0.6 of a meter by 0.33. So we place it on the ground within our cage and we're going to take the pasture from within that quadrat. Uh, sorts of things we can use are these uh, hand clippers or what we now use here at the Field Research Centre are these clippers. They are cordless dagging clippers and they're very good, very fast and they're easy to maintain. When we take these pasture samples, we want to be cutting them at about grazing height. So for sheep, that's at about 2.5 centimetres, 25 millimetres, or for cattle, 50 to 60 millimetres. And that is so that we have some consistent data that you can use in your feed budgets. Once we've taken the sample, we need to pop it into a labelled paper bag. Have the date, location, number, whatever information you need to make sure you know where the sample came from. And once it's in the paper bag, we can pop it into a chilli bin in the back of the vehicle. So from here that sample is going to go into a fridge and from there they are processed by drying in a microwave or an oven to give you dry matter.